going to do ocular again. I have my Kakashi shirt on, just some plain shorts, and some slip on sandals. And um, our coordinator is actually not coming with us because she has some appointments because it's already four and I don't know if we'll be able to find nice spots at this time. So we're headed out and we're gonna pick Sasha up. That's that. what I'm wearing just a little crop top jeans and my kids we're heading out for just a little date night although it's still like four or something and we're bringing our clothes to the laundry and hopefully we can drop by this aesthetics like like clinic of some sort see what they have to offer book some stuff because um, it's better to prep early like six months away from the wedding and start early in terms of skincare and stuff especially since skincare doesn't work in like just a day or so so that's that uh -huh. sure um, we dropped our laundry off and um, we also went to the aesthetics clinic and inquired on some prices so the stuff that I'm interested in availing of are their vessel lipo and um, hydro or hydra facial because again I feel like my skin has been super bad in terms of like flakiness and drying like it's super super flaky and patchy especially when I put on makeup so I think I'm gonna go with that also the underarm whitening laser and um, for Louise uh, what we're gonna do is their anti-acne facial so we're gonna see if that's something that we can like do like they have packages um, hopefully we can avail of and do like the treatment every couple of weeks so uh that's it i'm just going to check out the prices later and see how that's gonna go uh first i'm gonna get i'm gonna get my wisdom tooth removed and then go to like the Botox um, person, like there's a different aesthetics clinic here. Uh, yeah, I just want to look super nice for not just the wedding, but as well as our prenuptial stuff. So we're gonna get started in those things because we don't know when we're going to do our um, prenup shoot. Although I think it's more like an engagement photo shoot if that's like somewhere in the States. But it's like a prenuptial shoot here in the Philippines. I think Louise and I are going to do save the dates. And if we do that sometime earlier, then we for sure will be needing um, to get better skin as early as we can. So, crossing our fingers for that, I guess.
but my eye is red from washing and rubbing my eyes. Anyway, um, Louise is still in the bathroom. I'm just wearing a tank. Um, these are like the boyfriend jeans that I got from Uniqlo like um, the other day. I forgot when we went out. I think it was the other day. But yeah, so that's what I am wearing at the moment. And um, we'll see how the aesthetics clinic go. And basically, we're just gonna go and book the stuff that we want. But then if we have or if they have any availability, then we are going to start with the sessions. Um, so I don't have anything on my face except sunscreen because if I'm able to do the facial today, then my face is clean and ready for it. Um, this is taking a while and I just want to be done with everything because we're going to have dinner tonight and um, yeah, we're going to have dinner tonight and I still need to sleep for work later. So it's the next day and um, I'm just jumping here to, I guess, close up my vlog. Cause... Okay, so I'm just going to recap the procedures that were done. I had muscle lipo on my tummy and my chin, my face, and I had hydrofacial and um, underarm lightening or brightening. So, the underarms had a little bit of like stinging, but not that painful. Um, from my past experience with lasers, underarm lasers, it wasn't really as painful as those. Um, so it was perfectly fine. My Hydra Facial came with Face Contour, RF, and Cavi, which I don't know if that's a wrong move on my end because my bundle on the face, um, Meso lipo already came with um, RF, but I guess it's fine just to get tighter. Um, exfoliation, extraction. Um, extraction usually hurts, but I don't know. I think she had a heavy hand yesterday. It was painful, like I couldn't do it. Whereas when I was at my um, dermatologist, when, at my, when I was at my dermatologist, although she wasn't the one who did my extraction, it was fine and she removed Amelia. So yesterday was all purely like oil gunk, but she was still painful and heavy with her hand. Um, um, 
so yeah there was frequency laser and I did not like that it felt like electro shocks and I don't know I just did not like that at all like um and a little bit of my face here it looks like there's a little bit of like burn marks or like dark marks um I'm not sure if it was from the laser or something like that so I don't know if I'm going to continue with my hydrafacial um, because I don't want my face to get like super bad, you know. And the reason why I got the hydrafacial was because I had like the spots or like patches on my face and I was thinking that it might be hydrating on me and I don't know, we'll see how it goes. So if it's doing well with my skin, then perfect, but if it doesn't do that much, good if it's not doing well with my skin then I'm not gonna continue and I can pass on my um, four sessions to someone else so either I could just give it to Louise or my sister or even uh, my best friend Louise had um, oh so it's actually just three acne laser um, sessions I thought it was also five for him so he has three he did one and then my meso lipo here and my tummy I did not expect the injection to be painful like I don't think it was like the concoction that was painful it was the injection itself it was the insertion but yeah so on the tummy uh, there were like four or three each side and it was like boom 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 so um by boom 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 I mean like the shots um like even if I could film even if I wasn't shy to film, I don't think I would be able to because I was... It was painful. And then the um, face, when it came to my face, because it had the tummy first, I asked for numbing cream and they said that it would take 40 to an hour minutes for it to um, fake a fat. And Louise was just starting his um, facial. So I was like, you know what? But I can wait. I'm still gonna wait on him anyway. So that should be fine. And although it was painful, it was just kind of like an ant bite compared to my tummy that was so much more painful. And I'm not sure if I'm just more sensitive to pain because I'm PMSing. Or I asked if I could still undergo the laser and whatever treatment with what I have. Um, my intake, my meds. My spironolactone and my pills, she said it was fine, actually asked me to or recommended uh, glutathione, glutathione drips for my PCOS, but um, I don't really want to go through glutha. Um, and it's also really boring to wait. It's kind of one of the reasons why I don't, <laughs> reasons why I don't want to go through all of that. So the doctor in the clinic that does like threads and stuff will be back by June, so I wouldn't be able to do any consult before then so I guess it's enough time for me to I don't know like go through all of the procedures at this clinic and then inquire and see if I want to push through and see what other um, procedures I can do with the thread if I do push through with it or with the Botox if I do push through it because I really think I need um, Jotox because I've been really bad with clenching and I know that's really really bad anyway so that's it I just wanted to give you guys an update and I don't know if this is gonna be a long or a short vlog so eat <laughs> anywho um this weekend hopefully we'll be doing oculars again hopefully we'll find a spot already for the wedding so that we can start with wedding planning um by wedding planning, I mean meeting with organizers and booking the organizers because I want to be able to book as many suppliers that I can as early as possible so that I know where my budget stands and I know if I need to save more or not. Um, so that's that. Um, see you in the next one.